have a deep love for trains, and I have since I was a little kid, and Evanston is a really good place to love trains. They come through every day. We even have one of these all, the only working roundhouse on the western side of the United States. Which is really cool. But I'm here at, at this park because we have I'm not sure, I hope you guys can see this. It's hard to tell on my mom's phone how the quality is coming out. But this is an actual steam engine that hold, I think, uh, according to the plaque, it hauled around other steam engines around the roundhouse. I can't remember the number, but I'm sure we'll find it. Let's just take a look at... This is one of the wheels in the coal car. It's apparently made in Salt Lake, and some of these say Los Angeles, and... Okay, I'm zoomed out as far as I can go. Well, there's a side view of the engine, and here we go. Let's just hope I don't fall to my death climbing up this thing with my phone, with my mom's phone. All right, here we go. This is the actual engine. Well, the the engineering compartment. Here's where they would have kept the coal. And supposedly it would come down and they would shovel it past this thing. I think this is where an engineer would sit. Now, everything in here has been welded so it doesn't move any longer. And this place is rusting out really bad. See, I'll show some of the rust holes here. Hey, you can actually see the ground here. But it is really cool. See down here is where they would have put your coal or your wood. I think that might have been a break, but I'm not entirely sure. I have to be extremely careful doing this. But I'm actually stepping out onto the train. Show all the bells and whistles and I'm not gonna let go of this this railing. There's the bell. I really can't tell how the quality is going to come out on this. See, not sure if you can tell how high we up or we are. So I'm looking down here, and you can see my foot, and you'll be able to see once I get on the outside. And I'll show you from the front and the plaque. This is really cool. I'll show you all this stuff up here, and you got the you got the hatch. See, look at all the little holes. Oh, sorry, that was my finger. This has been here since 1985, and I have lived here. For 14 years of my life and I never knew this was here till today all right head back down here all right now I know it's not the highest, but I'm five foot seven. I'm gonna try to get. Hopefully, you can see. 
But see, that, that's me reaching up. That's got to be like at least what? Six, maybe seven feet high. All right, let's show some of the underbelly here. Here we have a big tank, probably used for water. Have some big, some of these big rods, and pistons. That's why. No, this one's not a piston. Look at the size of these wheels, though. Fun fact. This is made out of a similar steel, but they make a uh, L.A. Um, manhole covers out of. And a manhole cover weighs 300 pounds. And this is significantly larger than a manhole cover. Now this big thing here, it goes all along the wheels and it's connected to each one. And this here is an enormous piston. This here is a smaller piston, but pistons. And basically this big thing here would have these pistons go in and out. And this big, big, this big bar here, this, by the way, it is not hollow. This is, these are solid steel. Basically, it would go like and turn these wheels around. All right, here we go. I got the front here, number 4420. This is where it could be connected to another train. Uh, I'm not sure if this one was ever intended to have a ram scoop. But it could be very possible. A ram scoop is that big triangle thing that you see in front of old trains. Back up here. Here we go, 420, and here we go. I will not read this entirely out, but if you want, you can pause the video and I'm, I'm, in the, I'm shadowing it. Sorry. Let's, let's see if I can... Uh, it was used as a switch engine moving railroad cars. Oh, it moved railroad cars for repairs at the roundhouse in the 1930s. So now I make this a very old engine. It was retired and moved to our uh, courthouse and then moved here in 1985. It moved out here on two big trucks, basically. So it's been here a long time and I never even knew. I love old steam engines. Well, anyway, thanks for uh, taking this uh, trip. Oh, this is poor man 973. Hope you all have a nice day.